All right, so we're gonna go over uh, creating signals on the Moonship Trading app. If you like these videos, if you like our app, um, please subscribe and share with others. Appreciate it, thank you. All right, so we click Smart Orders right here at the top. And uh, what signals are is basically um, you're receiving signals from either Moonship app, Moonship bots, or from third-party apps like a marketplace and they'll send signals and you can execute um, automated training based on that so right now it's xed out but we'll take it out after it's out of beta when you click on smart orders click on signals and the way to get started is how when the signal comes in how do you want your initial order to be sent uh, sent out so if you want the initial order to be sent out as a market order um, you click this and you click market or if you want to um, add DCAs to the order you can click limit buy uh, for this example we'll just go with market order so we'll do a market buy uh, on the initial signal uh, before you select the signal uh, let's go ahead you'll have to select an exchange uh, where you want these uh, where you want to accept you uh, these signals you can pick one exchange at a time so let's go ahead and pick Binance and what is the base coin do you want those signals to execute whether it's ETH, BTC or USDT so if you pick up any of these um, it would only accept those signal base coins so let's go ahead and pick BTC now the coin list you can leave it blank and um, it will accept any signal with a base, base uh, signal of BTC but if you want to be selective, you can select multiple coins. So once you select an exchange, it'll populate um, coins for that exchange. So let's just say we want to do ETH BTC, and we want to do ETC, and you go ahead and do that. And you can add as many coins as you like. Um, if you want to remove, just click on X, and it'll remove that. But for this example, we'll just uh, leave this empty. So your initial order will be a market buy and you select how much um, of BTC of that coin do you want to buy. So you can do 0001 and that's the any signal that comes in it will buy that amount of that coin. Uh, from there you want to select how much profit you want on that signal. So let's select how many we want to sell and we want to take a 1% profit on each of those signals. Um, you can also split up the order. Um, you can take, um, you can add a ladder. You can take 1% on the first one and 3% on the second one. And you can divide how much you want each of those uh, amount to be distributed of the original buy. So since we're selling 0.001, it'll take 50% of that, and it'll take 50% of that. You can go as as um, as deep as you want, especially if you want to get spikes on those coins. So we selected exchange, the coin, the initial signal is going to be a market buy. We selected a take profit. If you want to institute a stop loss on that order, you can do that also. Uh, but for this example, we're just going to do a buy with a take profit. And from here, uh, you can do paper trading, meaning that you can just, um, these signals will come in and I'll give you a, a, an execution, but it will never go to the exchange. So you can see how that signal performs if you want to do that over time. So uh, we will eventually have email um, set up where you can set it through uh, TradingView. Uh, but for right now, uh, we're going to select um, signals from Telegram. And uh, we already have pre-selected signals. Uh, with, these are all Moonship bots, the Dynamic Grid, the Scalper bot, Cup and Handle, QFL Base Break, and QFL Reverse bot. Um, I'm going to give you a description in another video of how these work. Uh, we're also at Hoodloot. Hood um, signals are coming here soon. And also CQS is coming here. All right, so in this example, we'll just do dynamic grid. And um, if you don't want to use any of these, you can use your own custom signal also. So you don't have to necessarily pick 
our signals as long as you know the telegram channel of the other um, signals then you can also put that in here and we'll be able to pick that up and be able to send orders on that but for this example we'll just use dynamic grid and dynamic grid comes in two forms it gives you short signals and long signals so if you want short signals accepted only for Binance futures um, you can just select short and just click that in here uh, you can uh, but for this example we're just going to do long all right so for dynamic uh, you, you can leave if you leave this empty it's going to accept short and long all right and um, some of these signals have different criteria. Um, it depends on, on on the signal itself. So we have a smart algorithm in the back back end that's able to look at the data and um, be able to select to send that signal or not. So these are just advanced features. But some signals you can add filters to select certain type of sig um, coins, and you can. Um, say that no I don't if any of these do come out I don't want those signals to be sent so it, it gets very advanced but for this sake dynamic grid we're just using that uh, signal count is basically saying that I want to accept X amount of signals whether you want to accept 10 20 50 or if, if you don't want if you don't have a limit you just leave it empty and it'll accept any signal coming in uh, but you can put a signal count and say I want to accept uh, the next 100 signals and then after that I'll stop uh, accepting signals. You can put a minimum volume um, for the coin. So the coin, if your requirement is that the coin has traded 5 BTC for the day, you just do 5 BTC and it will accept um, that minimum amount for that volume for that coin limit positions per market is that um, sometimes some signals have multiple signals for that one signal um, do you want to accept them all or do you want to accept one it's up to you and it's based on you can basically ask your signal provider uh, what what is the correct setting here uh, for the dynamic grid uh, we don't limit it uh, we just it's a it's a grid bot um, but we, it's better to just leave that empty if, if you're using dynamic grid. But if your signal provider recommends only one or two or three, then you can do that. Uh, limit positions per signal provider means that if you're using multiple providers and you only want to accept X amount of signals from the provider and until those positions are sold out, it will not accept anymore. So if you have a max limit of five and 10 signals come, uh, are being sent, It'll accept the first five once the five are closed out, or one of the five are closed out. And if your if your setting is five, then it's going to accept the next signal. And then that's it. You submit the order, and this will um, run this automated uh, bot trading for the signal provider. All right. Thank you, guys. And if you um, like this app, please share and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.